He hypnotized fans with his lyrics about growing up here in Clinton Hill. Now the larger-than-life late rapper Biggie Smalls, or Notorious B.I.G., could get a different kind of street cred. This intersection bearing his name. He represented over here for years. You know, his name's ring bells over here. I do just believe that he deserves to have his street name. Tonight, people at this neighborhood barber shop believe it's long overdue. They say the rapper put this neighborhood on the map. It'd be a good idea. You know, a lot of people come from across seas and come to see uh, St. James Place, the block where Biggie Smalls lives. So, you know, it'd probably be a good idea. It's a uh, He's turned it into a landmark. Shaquem knew Biggie Smalls personally. He was a friend of mine. I mean, you know, he was a great man. People loved him. He had a lot of respect. The rapper's real name is Christopher Wallace. In 1997, Wallace was shot and killed in a drive-by shooting after performing in L.A. His killer was never caught, so for fans, there is no closure. But his name displayed here could be seen as a positive. Biggie was a great artist. We love him in Brooklyn, so there's nothing wrong with that. The requirement for naming a street after someone is pretty simple. The person must have historical or cultural significance and be deceased for at least three years. So a fan of the rapper started a petition. So far, he has 500 names. He hopes to get 10,000 and present the petition to the community board. But keep in mind, not everyone wants this street named Christopher Wallace Way. Some believe it should be named after a religious leader or community leader, not a rapper. In Clinton Hill, Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.